Introducing in the blue corner, originally from Jacksonville, Illinois, now fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Ken Norton. And in the red corner, the challenger, weighing in at 209 pounds, hailing from Easton, Pennsylvania, the Easton assassin, Larry Holmes. In the past, uh, well, let's say going back to the thriller in Manila, Joe, Joe Frazier and Muhammad Ali, this is probably the best legitimate heavyweight championship fight. Of course, we uh, wouldn't take anything away from the Sphinx Ali fight, but look at the determination in the eyes. Norton looking down, not looking into the face of Holmes. Holmes trying to taunt him. We're all set. It's ready to go. The most pure form of sports, the heavyweight championship of the world, is just about to get underway. Three judges, it's the 10-point must system. The three knockdown rulers wave, the bell is sound. Round one, the heavyweight championship of the world at stake. Ken Norton to the right of your screen, Larry Holmes to the left. The other fellow, Larry Holmes, with a 27-0, 19 knockout record, handled by Richie Giacchetti, has lightning hands. Larry Holmes, lightning left hands. He can count a punch while moving away. Pretty good pace for round one. We expected the fighters to feel each other out a little bit more, but these guys do not like each other. Larry Holmes has a beautiful looking physiques of both of these men. A lightning left catches Norton on the top of the head. No damage done. Larry Holmes, but right now he's going to have his hands full with Larry Holmes. Wear Norton down, which is a tough uh, row to hold. Norton has had the experience of going 15 tough rounds with Muhammad Ali on a couple of different occasions. from the camp of Kenny Norton say he's in the best physical shape ever. There's the lightning left hand. His right hand is just as quick. Causes Norton to miss. Norton trying to cut him off in the corners now. Norton is pretty good moving to his right, but he's not so good moving. Larry Holmes' record is unblemished. There he shows he has no fear of Holmes. And Norton uh, shows he has no fear either as he comes in. Covered up pretty good in that right hand thrown by Larry. Larry scores a right, good right hand. In his own heart and mind knows he can win. He's got better footwork, good right hand. Just as by the nose of Kenny Norton, no damage done. He's got a good left jab, which we said he doesn't use enough. Round one was an uh, example of that. Watch the exchange we have coming up while we wait for round number two. Holmes to the left of your screen. Okay, nothing there at all. And again, no damage done there. Bang, a good shot there. Probably the best shot of the fight, the first real good right hand that Larry Holmes threw. Good left hook that time. And he has poor mobility to his left, which leaves him vulnerable for the left hook. Round two, scheduled for 15. Martin takes the first shot in round two off the left hand of Larry Holmes. One question mark we might have in this one, just how good a shot does Larry Holmes take? He can take a punch, but right now he's giving them out. That's what I told you about the uppercut. Look for that uppercut because Holmes, uh, rather Norton, the way he leans over. See the way he leans his body, leans his body? Watch for Holmes to score the uppercut. Right now, Larry Holmes is taking the fight to Ken Norton. Good left hook to the side of the head. Best shot of the fight so far. Larry Holmes showing how he can double up with that left hand. See the way Norton bends his body over? He's very vulnerable for an uppercut. And if he continues to do it, Holmes will pick it up and nail him. Larry Holmes looks like he's really taking command. It's only round two. It's early to save, but he scores a good right hand from the head of Ken Norton. Larry Holmes, an excellent fighter. Kenny Norton is as well. But the hand speed, and there's the uppercut. Scores. The hand speed is the story here, as Norton is like looping, hooking shots for the, trying to get to the head of Holmes. So far, he hasn't touched him. Holmes counter punching excellently. I think Ken Norton just realized now at the end of round number two. But you watch this shot coming up that we have for you. Bam! Didn't catch him really hard. He caught him just a little bit to the side of the ear. Fighter with educated hands, educated feet. Hundreds of rounds against Joe Frazier and Ali and Sparring. Ken Norton's people must have told him he's going to pick it up and try to take the man in this round, but Holmes will have no part of it. 
So far, Kenny Norton hasn't scored anything. When I say anything, I'm talking about real heavy blows. Larry Holmes has. Kenny Norton is not getting his punches off first. But Norton is strong. He's a man that could take a guy out with one punch. Lord knows he's done it 32 times. Another good shot. There's the uppercut. Larry Holmes is building confidence now. He had tremendous confidence when I spoke to him yesterday, but none, <laughs> no confidence like he's showing in the ring right now. That looping right hand. Holmes is a real alert look in his eye. And his lightning left hand. When Norton throws his left, Holmes is hit before Norton does. Now there's two or three punches that just landed. And Larry will have to change his style right at this moment now and start circling to the left, causing the problems for him. Hooks to the body. Heavy punch, but again, that looping right hand, and immediately the right hand of Larry Holmes get in there to tag him. He flicks his head to the left and causes Norton to just frustrates the fighter. Norton's a great competitor. He's relentless. He continues to come on. One of the great men for punching back peddling. Very few could do it. Ali, of course, the master at hitting moving back. And we're going to find out before it's all over just who has the most. A very even fight to this point. Holmes slightly out in front. Round four. Scheduled for 15 as all world title fights are. While Norton may look taller, Holmes is actually an inch taller, about a half an inch to three quarters anyway. And he's done exactly that, so if you go by the fight plan, a good left hook that time scored by Kenny Norton. Larry's showing getting off three and four punches while Kenny gets out one or two. That takes his toll over the fight. See that lightning left? It comes from the hip, a la Ali. Box with Ali, tremendous amount. Holmes has been known to talk to an opponent occasionally, but it's frustrating for Holmes now. Kenny's best round was the last round, and at that it was still an even round. Larry Holmes is definitely beating him to the punch. He's scoring more punches. Pushing away a lot of punches with a lightning right hand. You see when Kenny comes in with the left hand, Larry pushes it away. Larry scores it. Oh, oh good right hand. Spins ahead of Norton. Another shot to the side of the head of Norton. Another one. Kenny goes downstairs to the body on that one. Kenny not visibly shaken. Holmes working to the head of Norton. The speed of the hands and the speed of the legs. And so far, Larry Holmes hasn't used his legs to his advantage which he's famous for. It's all been his hand speed that's beating Norton to the punch. Larry, for the first time, looking like he's huffing and puffing, takes a light left, and the, the right hand misses, ducks underneath it. See the head spin quickly, the alertness and the quickness of Holmes? Good combination there to the head. The handles, Holmes wanted to put combinations together. Kenny trying to muscle in, scores to the body, all right. Good, tough fourth round is complete. But right now, let's show you how Larry Nothing too serious there. Watch the right hand now. Watch the right hand. And a measuring bang over the left, over the left. Not a damaging blow, but those over a period of rounds can take their toll. Sets him up again. Bang. Didn't really score with that. Okay, here we go. Round five. Larry Holmes filled with confidence. Kenny Norton showing a little bit more concern. I think he said before the fight told me yesterday he's got plenty of, uh, of respect for Holmes. Doesn't particularly respect him as a human being, but has all the respect in the world as a boxer for Larry Holmes. Larry Holmes, of course, challenging the champion, had to respect him, but showing little respect and little regard for him in the ring. It's all hand speed so far, and it's all been to the end. Oh, good right hand from the head of Larry Holmes, but that shows you that Holmes can take a punch, and that was a big question heading into this fight. Can he take a punch? I'd say that was a real good shot that Holmes took then, which will frustrate Kenny Norton. When you score punches like that and it doesn't take anything out, then the left comes back. Two, three, four, quick left hands and a right follows up. Larry Holmes comes right back. So that shows you he can take a shot. The only time we could say that Norton didn't take a shot was in Caracas in 74 when Foreman knocked him out. But he's taken plenty of punishment from Ali. Good shots now, that jab. Oh, great, great boxing in here now by both of them. Just exchanging blows. Both of them looking for the up. Great shot by Larry Holmes. The right hand on the side of the head. Holmes scores again. Now they're standing just toe-to-toe -to -toe in the ring and just wailing away at each other. Left hand taken slightly. Both 
both of them had the same idea at the same time. Let fly with the right and cross them. Kenny has good hand speed for heavyweight, but Larry is so exceptional. Larry moves, stay away from him, slide to your left, keep moving, use those legs. But Larry wants to trade punches with him. One thing that I can, there he goes now. But listening to his corner, I was just going to say, this man takes direction. Now he's showing his style. Remember those tassels like that that Muhammad Ali wore the first time he met Joe Frazier after the layoff? I can see them now up in the air when he was sitting on his feet wearing the red trunks that night. Larry Holmes has them on. He's copied everything from Ali. He hasn't used his legs just as he doesn't use it now. Larry has great foot, great legs, educated legs, described by many educated boxing people. People from the Norton camp say that he's been in the best shape of his life, been on a new diet. I don't know what difference that's going to make right now. All of that's by the boards. The preparation's complete. There is no tomorrow. Kenny Norton to the right. Holmes beating him to the punch inside. Here's Holmes sliding away, showing his mobility to move. This is what they want Holmes to do. They want him to keep moving, cause problems. See the jab in the face of Norton all the time. This is what the young Ali used to do. That Larry Holmes would take the championship from Ken North. Larry Holmes is an in and out type of fighter. That left jab is really a punch, it's no jab. The right hand spins the head. That jab continued in the face of Norton. There it is again and again. Light blows, but scoring. And Kenny came in that time. Norton caught him with a good, uh, rather, uh, Holmes caught him with a good body punch downstairs. Now Norton taking some leather to the head. There's that uppercut. And Larry Holmes is very well aware that the uppercut is a key punch for him. Good shot thrown by Norton that time. Larry Holmes took a good shot, but he came right back. Larry's got to move a little bit more. Ken knows that he really tagged him. And surprisingly to a man that has the real ring smarts of Larry Holmes and surprised he's not moving there. His corner, of course, is getting moved, Larry, move. With Norton's style with the left foot in front and dragging his right foot, it's very difficult for him to move to his left. And that's what opens things up a good, good round. That's the jab, of course. You don't need me to tell you that, but that's the one that's get good right hand. And that's what I mean about Holmes being able to take a shot. Here we go again, round seven. Scheduled for 15 at stake, the World Heavyweight Championship. Kenny Norton holding the title, but it's on the line right now. There's the foot movement that the corner of Holmes wants him to use. To come in and out. Angelo Dundee, the great trainer, says, yeah, I'd like to see a guy that has that leg speed come in and out. Punch going away. Very few people could do it. Certainly Gene Tunney against Dempsey in that famous long count fight in Chicago made that famous. And then along came Ali, who patented it. And now Larry Holmes is copying it. Holmes uh, is what I would call a master of avoiding shots, although he's been hit a couple of times. Watch him miss punches. Watch him cause Norton to miss punches now, which is frustrating. These, these guys are, and you can't control a thing. It can be very frustrating. This is what Larry should be doing. Norton comes in and scores from the head, though. Like, you're not controlling me, friend. A little more concern showing the face now of Holmes. Good left hook catches him. Norton's hands are very busy. Takes a lot of leather. Good combination that time by Kenny Norton. The bell sounds. Ending the round, number seven. So, Norton... Here we go, round number eight. Now let's see if the pace changes or anything. Good right hand, good combination score. Holmes has come on here in round eight. He's got that look back in his eyes now, the look of determination. He's got the concern look back in the eyes of Norton. This series of punches thrown by Larry. Richard Giacchetti again told me he wanted Larry to follow up, triple up, double up with those punches. But Norton is so game and such a great competitor, it's not easy to control him. Scores good inside. 
Guys do not like each other, and I think it's obvious by some of the stairs you can see. There's that looping hand, and then again the quickness inside. Everybody was yelling, oh yeah, like Norton did something there, but it was actually Holmes that beat him inside. The looping hand and arm, now that was a good punch that time, thrown by Norton. Getting Norton to the left. That shot scored too. Going by Ken again. So Larry gets on the bicycle now. This Larry using his wares to its best advantage now, moving around. Wild is Kenny with the left, but scores a series of lefts there. It's one of the better rounds for Ken Norton, by the way. Holmes to the flailing in the first one. Good left hand in the face. Good right hand scored by Holmes that time. Those punches are landing. They've got to be taking their toll. Three quick left. Oh, good combination by the champion. Good combination. Good uppercut that time by Holmes. And he really wants him. He, he can taste it. He's going at him so hard. Larry Holmes says, take that if you want to taste some of that. All right. The referee. Mills Lane has to separate them. The people like this one. I told you going into it, it would be one of the best, and it has been. Holmes a real determined look on his face. Here we go. Round nine. Larry came out like this in round eight and scored three quick ones. Now let's see what he does with this one. He can't allow Norton to take the man. That'll slow down Holmes in a hurry. Now Holmes say, keep him up. You couldn't read his lips there. I didn't hear him. I saw it the same as you did. We're in round nine. This is scheduled for 15. Good shot by Norton that time. But again, the head of Holmes is, oh, another good right hand there. Although it's hard to tell exactly how heavy because the way Holmes moves his head so quickly. That's the one thing you miss when you're watching on television. You can't tell the heaviness of the punches. But I'll tell you right now, these jabs are light. Larry Holmes now has that look back in his eye, the determination, like he's looking for a shot to unload the right hand. And by the fact that he's circling to his left, I'll tell you it's coming very shortly. But Norton doesn't allow him to get it off. To the credit of Kenny Norton, the champion of the world. Holmes will circle left and try to get Norton leaning that way, then drop the right hand. That shows you the Ali type of style of Holmes there, the way he walked away from that. Jimmy Ellis was famous for that as well. Wild with the left. Kenny Norton, heavyweight champion of the world, and wants to keep it. Lord knows he's waited long enough for a title. Ah, good shot that time by Larry Holmes. He's circling back to his right now. Oh, real good right hand scored by Kenny. Good shot. I'll tell you, Holmes can really take a shot, because that was a good one. No bounce taken out of the legs of Holmes at all. Another good shot by Kenny Norton. Now Holmes wants to pick up the pace so this round doesn't get out of his hands. He's got to score a few more punches to keep. There's a good shot by Holmes. Scores downstairs. That one missing. Kenny has scored two real good shots in this round. There's the bell ending the round. Watch this short. Keep an eye on this. Bang! What a shot that was. Many a, many a fighter would have been off his feet with that one. Holmes knows he's got to get something cooking here now because the fight is at a point where it could take a turn there. Kenny's scoring more shots to the face now. now this also is a point where Scores there again. Larry gets on his bicycle. We're getting into the 10th round now. A territory that Larry Holmes doesn't know. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Doesn't know. Hasn't been there. Kenny Norton's been there many, many times. There's tremendous staying power. Although the people that handle Larry Holmes tell me he's got all the strength he needs to go 15. He's had some 200 rounds of boxing in preparation for this. And I'm sure he's done 15 and 20 many times in preparing for it. see that a little more concerned look at the face of Holmes. The determined, relentless look on the face of Norton. He just scored there a pretty good right hand. Larry's got to get a little more offensive-minded now. Norton's jab that took 
Chris Bettine. Has the great quickness in the head of Larry Holmes. The two jabs out there by Norton. And again, Norton has good hand speed, but it doesn't look as great because Holmes is exceptional hand speed. It's a right hand. That's what I mean about exceptional hand speed. That one just snuck in there, spun the head. Norton can take a shot, too. You know, George Foreman in Caracas and uh, a few heads of cattle that couldn't take a shot like that. This was a man. Holmes has kind of gone on a defensive uh, maneuver here. Round 10. And he scores with that left hand. Larry really hasn't scored too much in this round at all. Might be a place where Larry's just trying to save a little bit of energy. We're coming up to round 11. Now we enter a territory that Holmes hasn't been to except for a couple of times. Let's see if Norton tries to really maintain what he started to do back in round 8. He continued through 9 and 10 or... Holmes was trying to coast a little bit and will come back and take it. Norton known for stamina, can go the distance, had vicious battles with Ali over the distance. Vicious battle with Jimmy Young over the distance. Backpedaling, backpedaling, hitting while he's going away. If he wants to regain the command that I thought he had early in the fight, he's going to have to start scoring some more punches. That's what he likes to do, make Norton look awkward, catch him off balance and try to drop him. Again, neither fighter has been cut, neither fighter has been down. We're in round 11. The heavyweight championship of the world at stake. People now are suddenly yelling for Norton. Norton's bouncing around, scores the lightning left. Now they're yelling for Larry. They're yelling that, like the Ali chant, it's the Larry, Larry that you hear, which gives him a little extra psych and gets his... Something pumped up there anyway. You see that enthusiasm back in his face as he feels the crowd sway to his side. It's probably a split crowd. Norton so close. And of course people living so close, I should say, from San Diego, California, living in L.A. A lot of people over here to see him win. And of course Holmes is a big crowd out from eastern Pennsylvania. That he's the underdog and people like the dog. That looked a lot better than it really was. But Larry is going to get more aggressive. Norton is scoring the punches. Larry is fighting defensively now. Earlier we had a big upset for the same reason. Jimmy Young lost to Jaws Ocasio because he wasn't aggressive. People don't like that, but Larry's going to use what he has. Shouldn't allow himself to get on the ropes. Norton's too strong for this sort of thing. And that's why. Took a good shot that time. Punches again in round. Uh, really, Norton scoring more. 12. All right, here we go. Round 12. Now let's see if he takes the direction of Richie Giacchetti. Does Larry Holmes. Holmes has got to become more aggressive. That's what's at stake. Strong. Awfully strong. Larry's keeping him off again, but that time Norton scores again. This is Larry's style. By this time, Larry should be trying to maintain a little bit more control of the fight, which he's not doing at this particular moment. Larry just ducked away from that wild round. Nothing punishing, though. See the look of concern in the face of Larry Holmes now? We didn't see that in the early rounds. He's realizing he's struggling a bit. Norton's punches look awfully strong, awfully powerful. Larry showing his quickness again. Norton continue the aggressive, scoring to the head of Holmes. One thing we expected to see Larry do a little bit more is double up more. He's not doubling with the left hand, and he's not throwing his right hardly at all. There's the right hand. Scored pretty good that time. And again! 
Left eye of Kenny Norton is really swollen now. Larry Holmes looks like he might be slightly arm weary now. The punches are not quite as crisp as they were before. And Norton is looking stronger all the time. His left hook has looked better in this fight than I've seen him against a lot of fellas. Timing of Larry is slightly off now in comparison to the early rounds. The fatigue is set in a bit by both fighters. There's a good shot. Larry Holmes has got to try and pick up the pace a little bit more. He's trying a little bit more even than the rest, but the aggressiveness of Norton scoring again. Well, the bell ends. He said he should stay away early. That was their fight plan, but now he's got to become more aggressive. He's got to go after Norton and take the fight to him. Let's see if he can or if Norton will continue the aggressor. Holmes has a good look back in his eye now. The rest bit in between rounds there did him some good. I can see that alert look in his eye again. The better combinations in the fight have been scored by Holmes. The heavier punches, the outstanding punches have been scored by Norton. Fight very even. I have Kenny Norton slightly out in front. Ever so slight. And now Holmes is looking better in this round. Norton Wiley, and there's a cute right hand in there, sneaky right hand. There's a good shot now. The fatigue is causing Larry's timing to be just ever so slightly off, but he's still scoring more punches now. This is what he's got to do. Keep Norton off of the left and pick his shots. Use the right hand more. Now it looks like a better Larry Holmes. All right, another good shot by Larry Holmes. Real good shot by Holmes that time. Spins ahead of Norton. Now Larry's taking the fight back to him, although he backs up. Backing up doesn't mean anything because he is one of the very few heavyweights in history that can hit going away. Good round shaping up for Larry Holmes. Good right hand again. Maybe those breathing rounds are what he needed to keep himself going for the late rounds and save himself a bit. Scoring now, real good punches. While Norton did lace out there with a couple of lefts, there was nothing behind him. Holmes' punches look much heavier in round 13 here. Another good shot. Larry is really scoring the heaviest shots now in round 13. Kenny missing. Larry's got to stay off of those ropes. Use his legs a little bit more. The knees of Norton look a little bit jellied like now. Another good shot there. His right hands are taking the toll of Norton. He's got him staggered, I believe. He's got him scoring good combinations. The right hand is taking its toll on Norton. Larry hits him again, again. Big round for Larry Holmes. Both fellas slightly on worry, but Holmes is really labeling Norton in this round. Larry taking the vision away with the left hand and then dropping the right in. Holmes continues to score at the right. He's got Norton wobbly again, taking another shot. He scored at least 10 good right hands. Big, big round for Larry Holmes. Big round. But what's more important is round 14, and again, I have the fight dead even right now. Holmes must continue because the fight is very close. Again, that scoring that I have even is unofficial. The judges do the scoring here. I have nothing to do with it. Makes Norton look awkward, does Holmes, which is frustrating. Larry has a real alert look back in his face, even though Norton looks to be really much more aggressive now. Punches don't seem to have the steam that they had earlier. I was looking at a fighter's eyes, and you can almost tell how he's feeling right now. Norton's eyes, he looks like he's really wobbly now. Timing is gone, not completely, because Larry Holmes is fatigued as well, but not as bad. Larry beats him to the punch, counter-punching there. Pushes him off the ropes. You can see Norton's legs are rubbery, his knees. He has very little bounce left in his knee. Good right hand still, but it had no effect at all on Holmes. A lot of parring inside here. Nothing to any avail or any advantage of either fighter on this inside stuff. Holmes has got to step back and take longer shots now. 
Holmes looks to be more fresh to me right now. But Norton has the heart of a champ coming in all the time. Larry just stepped back and I almost have to take a sigh with him to catch your breath. Exchanged right hands that time. Is Larry on the move? This is what he should continue to do. Scores with an uppercut and scores again. Kenny Norton doesn't back up, though. Continues to pour on. He knows how important it is to be aggressive. Scores a good shot to the head of Larry Holmes. Larry Holmes taking some shots here now. Good round for Kenny Norton. Larry's got to get out of that corner. Kenny's starting to score some punches here. Kenny trying to take command of this round. Larry does not want him to do it, needless to say. Well, in. It's a very difficult round to score, but I almost have to give it to Kenny Norton. This should be one whale of a finish. All the marbles on the line and millions of dollars to boot. Here we go. Both fighters need a big round. The 15th round of the world heavyweight title is on the line right now. Very important for both men to win round 15. This is when you find out who has the heart and who is the champion right now. Norton continues to be the aggressor. Larry should not allow this. Norton continues to come on. They're both fighting for their lives. Good shot by Holmes for Just missing that one. Norton scores a looping right hand that time. Larry cannot let it continue like this. He's going to lose the fight. It's that close, in my opinion. Larry has that alert look back like he's just waiting for about halfway through the round, and then he's going to explode. Let Norton punch himself out in the early going. And that's what Kenny is scoring a bit, though. Got bounce the head back to Larry Holmes. Larry misses. Both fighters very, very tired. First time that Holmes has gone this far. Larry has got to explode here if he's going to win this fight. He's got to just get a second win and explode. The way he's doing it now, North is taking command of the 15th round. At least halfway through now, round 15. If it continues like this, it's in the hands of the judges. It's too close for me to score. Unless Holmes explodes here. Kenny Norton taking it to Larry. Larry is fighting back really now. This is what he has to do. See if he's got enough left to take the champ out. Scores with the right hand. The champ comes back. Comes back and scores a real good shot to the head of Holmes. Another good shot. Takes the mouthpiece out of the mouth of Larry Hall. Kenny Norton doing what he has to do to win. Scoring again. It's a big round for Kenny Norton, I'm afraid. In the waning moments now of the round, Larry is fighting desperately to stay in there, fighting with everything he has. Scores good with a shot to the head of Kenny Norton. Again to the head of Norton. This has been a great boxing show. Both fighters courageous as Holmes comes back. Scores a good shot. He's got no under trouble. Yes. He's got a follow up. Uppercut scores. Running out of time, and that's it. It's all over. Well, Holmes put on a last second flurry. It's going to be very, very close. Too close for me to call. Could be a split decision, we don't know. With me is Jose Suleiman. Jose, could you venture to guess who's won this fight? No, but I'm very proud of all of them. What fight? I mean, the best fight that I have seen in many, many years. Jose, I've broadcast over 50 championship fights, and I can't recall a better fight showing the heart. Either one of these guys could be champion in my book. I believe exactly the same thing. This is one of the greatest fights that I've ever seen in my life. Here comes the decision now. Let's listen. We have a split decision. It's a split decision. A split decision. Scores 
142 Holmes. One judge, 143, 142 Holmes. 143, 142 Norton. 143, 142 Norton. It all depends on the final judge. No way. Scores it. 143, 142 for the new w Larry Holmes has done it. of all time. Yes, it is. I predicted that it would be one comparable to the Thrill in Manila, one that was fought like Ali and Frazier number three. It was done this time. 